Hey, hopefully every everyone's having a good Sunday, having a great day. Uh, my name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. And today I'm going to talk about platinum investments. And if you like platinum, subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave comments below if you guys own any platinum. I'm just curious to see who owns it. Uh, obviously, I own quite a bit of it, uh, but just curious. And someone asked in the comment section, how the heck do we play platinum? So I put together a platinum presentation real quick um, about platinum itself. I also did some charting of some of the companies so you guys uh, can see what the charts look like. And I'll give my opinion as well on what those charts, if they're good or bad. So platinum investments, here's the presentation I put together. And the investments here, this is kind of what I think, you know, I, I can look at. I forgot one here uh, under the companies, but I'll show you on the charts. Uh, ETF uh, SPPP is the Sprott Physical Fund. I think that's a real um, safe bet. They do back the fund with physical metals. Uh, we've got the companies Impala Platinum, Platinum Group Metals, and I think there's one AGPPF, I think is what it was. I I've got the chart on it, Anglo-American Platinum. And then the physical metal investment, that's what I typically reside in. I like the physical metals. And the ones I look at are Valcambi and Horaeus bars. And then for the government issued coins, I like the Maple Leafs and American Eagles. And obviously there's more than this, but that's where, where I typically look are in those four categories. Uh, I own the majority in the bars. And then if I can find Maple Leafs or Eagles for really good deals, and they had incredible deals uh, on eBay. This is, this is a while back. And even during the crash, there were some people selling some stuff because they were panic selling. And I said, hey, if you need the money, I'll, I'll, I'll take them off your hands. So I got a lot of good Maple Leafs and American Eagles during that, that pullback. I wasn't taking advantage of anybody. They needed the money. So, um, so I bought it from them on a win-win scenario. So looking at the charts, uh, this is Impala Platinum. This is a weekly chart over, uh, over a decade long. We got the downtrend here. It broke the downtrend at the, the March 2000. 2020 sell off here, and then we're heading back on up. So, this one obviously uh, has a lot of leverage uh, if you like leverage. And then we've got Platinum Group Metals. I don't think these they're a producer, uh, they've got a project that they're putting into play. Uh, I think it's coming online a couple of years from now. I think we broke the downtrend here. You can see that big break, and then it's putting in a flag pattern, and a flag pattern is pretty bullish. Uh, so this thing could easily, if you draw a line through here, you've got some support right there. So I, I, you know, this looks pretty good if you like platinum group metals. Again, this is not financial advice. Uh, I do not, uh, I, I do hold a position in, in some of these companies. They're not very large positions. And I also want to show you Anglo-American platinum, AG, PPF. This is a textbook cup and handle. Textbook. We got the lead in. We've got the cup and we've got the handle here. Now I threw this out because this was the, the March crash and it came right back up. So here's your handle and it just broke out and we're heading on up. So I think AGPPF looks absolutely excellent to enter if you like platinum or you want to play the uh, platinum play. Now, if you're looking for physical precious metals, these are the precious metals right here. Here's pictures of them. Uh, this is Valcambi. These are the ones that I kind of like. They come in this card. And then the Argo Horaeus bars. This is Horaeus Platinum 1 ounce. Uh, this is what it looks like here. Obviously, they do make smaller uh, de denominations than just the 1 ounce. So you could go with smaller. Uh, I'm just showing these for an example, the 1 ounce ones. Here's the American Eagle, um, Platinum American Eagle. And this is the Platinum uh Maple Leaf. And notice that they're all 999.5. They're all 999.5 on all these. I just wanted to make that clear as well. And I know some people, they talk about uh, how do you know if it's fake or not? So platinum is a very dense metal, very, very dense. So when you get these, they're actually far smaller than what you think, even for a one ounce bar or a one ounce coin. Silver, I would say, is kind of like this. And platinum, I mean, it's freaking teeny. <laughs> so. Um, it's a very good way to store a lot of value uh, in a very small constrained space. So if you're stacking, if you're stacking lots of money into silver, it becomes space constrained. That's for sure. 
And with platinum, uh, it is far smaller in size, very easy to store, uh, and, and it takes up a lot less space. So if you have a lot of money that you want to dump into this stuff, platinum is an excellent bet because the ratio of platinum right now, I think it's 1.6 or 7 or 8 against gold, which is historically super cheap. Platinum in relationship to um, palladium, platinum is extremely cheap. And even silver against platinum, platinum is cheap. So platinum on all of the metals, and especially even rhodium too, they're all cheap. I mean, platinum is cheap to every other metal. So I have been accumulating platinum over the past year, year and a half. If you've been on this channel, obviously you know that. I make that very vocal about it. I still think it's an exceptional value for what you get. And the potential in the future, there's supply demand potential. Uh, they're used in fuel cells, platinum is. They are running hybrids, and a lot of hybrids have to load the catalytic converters, and they're going to try to load it with more and more platinum because it's the cheapest metal of the metals. Rhodium's through the roof. It's like $21,000 something dollars. And palladium's up there too, which is the current design for catalytic converters because it was the cheaper metal. It was the cheaper metal. And typically on a historical basis, platinum is about, it can usually purchase about three ounces of palladium. And now platinum is about half the price of palladium. This is a very large anomaly for platinum because platinum is cheap to all the other metals on historical lows on a ratio basis. And that's how I identify value is using ratios and looking at history. Platinum is absolutely a steal right now. Hopefully this content helps you guys with your investment decisions. I can't give financial advice. I'll put the information in front of you and you guys are going to have to make your own financial decisions. Um, I would be buying it if it were me. I still think it's that great of a deal and that great of a value. Give me a thumbs up if you like this content. Subscribe if you haven't. I don't know what you're waiting for. Leave comments below if you guys own any platinum or if you want to own it, what are you going to buy? Are you going to buy the physical metal, the ETF, or are you going to buy a company, a producing company? Let me know what you, what you think. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.